I often start off the children's portion with a question. And today I'm going to ask a really silly, weird question. Do you like to know things? Yeah? Yes? Why do you like to know things? Ooh. She said, uh, because... That way my parents can't hide secrets from me. Hmm, that's an interesting reason to know things. Do we all like to know things? Yeah? Yeah, why do you like to know things? Oh, so you're saying when you order something like on Amazon or something, you want to know when it's shipped so you'll know when it's going to get here. So that's some, some way to know something. All right. Now, how about in school? Do you guys like to learn all the things they teach you in school? It's kind of like a, uh, yeah. How about you? Uh, not all the things. Now, do you like to learn? Mm -hmm. We like to learn. Is that true for all of the adults? Isn't it good to learn? Why do we learn things, though? Mm -hmm. To grow. Yeah. Yeah. So we can get better at things, right? So, we, yeah? You learn things so that you can live them. That's a novel idea. <laughs> so knowledge is really important, right? And let's say that you had a really important job, and that job was making sure that, let's say that you were in charge of a city. You were a mayor, right? Do you need to know things as a mayor? Yeah? What, do you, what kinds of things would you need to know if you were the mayor of a city, meaning you, you were in charge of a whole city of people, you needed to make sure everything worked out smoothly? Yeah? You need to know all the things that we learn in school, right? Mm -hmm. You need to learn how to be a good ruler. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You need to know what the people need, right? That's a, that's a pretty important one. And that's actually kind of what we're going to get at today. You know, do you think that the mayor would be really good if he didn't like his people that he was caring for? No, and not at all. Why? Because if he didn't care for the people, he probably wouldn't care to do things well for them, right? Exactly. Now, here's what's interesting. If he doesn't like the people that he's going to be working for, do you think that he's going to do a good job about learning all the things he needs to know to be a good mayor? Probably not. He's not going to care so much, and so he might not learn as much. We're going to read a story that's kind of about this, and it's a story of the Lord in the Gospel of Luke, and in this story, the Lord has not met any of his disciples yet. So this is when he first meets his uh, disciples that he's going to take with him for his whole uh, ministry. And the disciples we'll talk about today are this, the disciples Simon Peter. And then there's also James and John who are brought into this story. And think about this in terms of learning. So let's hear the story, and we're going to talk about this in terms of how important is it to learn in the right way. It says, so it was, this is verse 1, as the, multitude, um, as the multitude pressed about him, pressed about Jesus, I mean they were crowding around him to hear the word of God, that he stood up by the lake Gennesaret, and he saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them, and they were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and he asked him to put it out a little from the land, 
and he sat down and he taught the multitudes from the boat. So you see how this is about the Lord is teaching, so the people should be learning, right? So that's what the hope is. And when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. So he's wanting him to go fishing. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and have caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. So Peter's saying, we've been fishing all night. We've gotten nothing. You think one more cast is going to help? But he does listen, right? He does listen to the Lord, and he decides, okay, just because the Lord said I should do it, then I should do it, right? So... Where are we here? So, Master, we have toiled all night and have caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. So they signaled to the partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and they filled both boats so that they began to sink. Think of how many fish it would take to sink a boat. That's how many fish they were catching here. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I am sinful, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch people. Interesting story. So it's all about the Lord teaching, right? We have a story about the Lord teaching, and then there's all these people up on the hill. He's out in a boat on the lake, and he's teaching all the people that are out on the hill. And they're supposed to be listening, right? They're supposed to be learning. Now, we were talking about this mayor who maybe didn't care very much, right? Now, if the people who are sitting in that crowd didn't care very much, do you think they would have learned very much from the Lord? No. Because if you don't care much, you don't listen very much. And if you don't listen very much, you don't learn very much, right? You know what's kind of silly? Peter's name. He's originally not called Peter in this. He's called Simon. That's what his name means, is one who listens. Hmm. So this whole story is about listening to the Lord. And he was fishing. Hmm. So he was fishing with a net. And we've talked about fishing nets a little bit before. This time I actually found the real net. So that's good. Much better. You can see how this is a cool little fishing net. This is what they would have been using. Maybe a little bigger. And it's this big thing that you can take and you're supposed to toss it out over the fish. And it's supposed to, the fish swim up in there, and then you see how this is kind of cool. It, these all pull up, and it actually tightens the string down at the bottom so that it holds all the fish inside. Isn't that kind of cool? So Simon says to the Lord, we've been out fishing all night, and we've caught nothing. Why do you think they've caught nothing in terms of what we're thinking about is, do we care about what we learn or not? Well, Simon in the beginning is talking about when we aren't really listening. And we want to be able to do things well. We want to be able to make our lives easier. And we might want to be even learning, how do I live better? But if we're doing it all from ourselves and just for ourselves, and that's all we care about, it's like fishing and toiling all night and catching nothing. Because when we don't really care very much about what we're learning, and it's really just about ourselves, then all of the stuff that the Lord teaches us doesn't really matter very much to us. Which isn't right. What happens, though, when Peter truly listens to the Lord? The Lord tells him, put down your net. And he said, well, because you tell me to do that, I'm going to do it. Right? Maybe when we're trying to learn, especially when we're trying to learn from the Lord's word, 
the way that we actually learn a lot, and that is catching lots of fish, more than the boats could even handle, is when we love or care about what the Lord cares about, when we care about other people. So our mayor, if he really cares about the people that he's taken care of, he's going to be able to learn so much because he loves it. He loves the people, so he wants to know exactly how we're going to do it all the time. And so he's going to learn so much. But if he doesn't care, he'll have an empty net all day. So our thoughts for today is that we learn mostly because of the things that we love. When we love other people, we're much more able to learn how to love them because we care. When we love our job, that helps us to learn how to do our job better. The Lord actually uses that love as a way of opening our hearts to, to hear the truths that we need to hear. And so when we're thinking about our lives and what we should learn and everything like that, and even going to school, maybe some of the subjects in school, you go, oh, I don't really care so much about this. But maybe even in those moments, we might go, maybe the Lord has a use for this that I don't know. Maybe the Lord is wanting me to learn this so that later on I can use this idea, this knowledge to care for somebody, to do something good. And so even in those things that we don't necessarily want to learn, we can do what Peter did. He said, even though I've been toiling all night and caught nothing, because the Lord says we should, I'm going to do that, right? So our thought for this morning for the children is really try to focus on what, what do we love? Why, why are we learning something? To go into it with an idea of how does this help other people, we're going to learn a lot more than if we just go into it thinking, how can I be happier? Or how can I know exactly when my Nerf gun is going to come in Amazon, right? Those are, you know, useful things to know. But is it really thinking about how can this care for other people? Then we learn a lot more. Now, after the blessing, the children can go to Sunday school. Please bow. The Lord give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Amen.